on the, on the ASM, as, as Mr. Escobar has said, this, we, this is an international commitment. Uh, it was enshrined in the 2013 Brussels Agreement, so it's about 10 years now. Uh, and it, it, in our view, it comports uh, with uh, the, the Kosovo Constitution and Constitu constitutional court decisions. Um, the bottom line here is we want all citizens of Kosovo to, to be able to receive equal services and have their voices heard. The idea is for uh, the Serbs in the north of Kosovo to be less reliant on Belgrade. And it's focused on education and healthcare and economic, local economic development, things like that. We have been very, very clear that we will not accept and nor will we support anything that remotely resembles a Republika Srpska. Uh, as you noted, the European Union has cited more than a dozen examples within the EU of ASM-like structures in Northern Italy, in Switzerland, in Finland, where they have these minority populations where they have some degree of, of local control over, over uh, parts of their lives. Mr. Escobar and I uh, co-wrote co an op-ed in, in, for Kosovo, uh, in, in Kosovo papers earlier this year, laying out in our mind what the ASM is and what it isn't. And that, that argument that we made has been embraced by the leadership of Kosovo. And they are, they are saying they are using that as they are forming their own thinking about what an ASM might look like. What we'd like to see is their view of what an ASM might look like and how, uh, how that could be, be acceptable. Our position is that the association is an existing legal obligation under the Brussels Agreement. But we have repeatedly told Kosovo that we would help them shape it into something that is a European model that doesn't violate its sovereignty or its, um, its constitutional structure or its functionality. The way we see it, the association is a way for the four municipalities or any other municipality that would like to join to be able to provide municipal services for a, a sizable minority in Serbian language. So in other words, what we'd like to see is we'd like to use the association to unwind what Serbia is doing in northern Kosovo and put it under a Kosovan structure that they control and that it is under Kosovan law. So in other words, I don't see this as a, a, uh, a concession to Serbia. I see it as a way for Kosovo to accommodate uh, those citizens that live within Kosovo who are Kosovan citizens. Kosovo is a sovereign, independent, democratic country. It's one of our closest friends and partners. It often punches above its weight and the United States supports Kosovo's full recognition. And we support its integration into interna international institutions, including the United Nations. And we look forward to Kosovo getting closer to NATO and the European Union, and eventually joining those institutions. Yet the European aspirations of both Kosovo and Serbia will not happen until they resolve their differences. And that's why we have strongly supported the EU-facilitated dialogue. Hard work remains, political courage is required, and we will continue to engage both parties so that they fulfill their mutual commitments. And as we continue to support Kosovo, we're also committed to deepening our partnership with Serbia and developing closer ties to the Serbian people. And I wanna stress, we do so with our eyes wide open. Serbia has significant challenges from corruption to Russian-fueled disinformation. In February, as part of the ongoing Brussels-facilitated dialogue, Serbia and Kosovo verbally agreed to an agreement negotiated by the European Union. Shortly thereafter, Serbian President Vucic made a public speech disagreeing with the contents of the agreement and refusing to sign because he still does not recognize Kosovo's independence. Controlling the information space and cracking down on civil society, President Vucic continues to embrace nationalist Serb narratives perpetuating his vision of Srpskabet a great Serbian nation, much like Putin's visions of greater Russia. Indeed, Serbia's president has boasted about his close personal ties with Putin. He has flown to Moscow for trade talks, refused to join European partners in imposing sanctions on Russia. So today I'd like to hear from our witnesses on what the plan is going forward. Most of what I see is pressure on Kosovo for the Association of Serb Municipalities which I do recognize Kosovo had previously agreed to. But it seems to me there is little to no pressure on Belgrade, nor any real plan or guarantee that the Association of Serb Municipalities would not become another Republika Srpska 
while seeing the dangerous implications of, uh, that we are seeing the dangerous implications of in Bosnia and Herzegovina right now. I see little pressure on a leader about whom the New York Times Magazine recently painted a scathing picture of violence and deep interconnectedness with Serbia's organized criminal gangs.